This is the Jerry Show, and this is the Claris RS20. This is another awesome light by Claris. This is a max 1050 lumens, has a meter throw of 316. It has two lights on this. It has a primary and a secondary. The primary, of course, is the traditional front here, and we have a secondary, which is diffused right here on the side. The primary uses a Cree XM L2 U2 LED, and like I said, has a whopping 1050 lumens. And then the side uses a different LED. It is the Cree XM L, and this is actually a color LED. It has a white, red, green, and blue, which I'll show you here in just a second. One thing I really like about Kolaris new lights is that they are all magnetic charging so and they work really good watch I can just go like that and boom it has a nice red beam here and then when it's charged it will turn green and also with these you don't need to put a protecting cap around this you don't you don't need that at all it works as is no protection and it works really good and another thing is this will double as a magnet on the field it's not too strong but you'll still be able to tell if something is metal Claris also uses their custom 18650 rechargeable battery. You can also use other 18650s or any CR123s, but their 18650 is nice because it's dual polarity. It doesn't matter which way that you put it into the light and it'll still work. The RS20 does have a IPX-8, so you can totally submerge this up to two meters or six feet and still use it you don't have to worry about it like i said once again with the charging cap don't have to worry about covering that up and you'll be good to go in addition to the included charger you also get this nice lanyard right here go ahead and i'll remove it this is just so you can attach it to either side here on the back and carry it around your wrist and it has a nice slider there that allows you to you know tighten it around your wrist or whatnot they also include a nice belt holster. We have some Velcro here, and you can attach this to a belt. I'll just slide it through there on the side. This little hook here, and then we have another Velcro there. This actually goes with the light facing up, and clips like that, so that's what it would look like there. So real quick, before we take a closer look at the actual light itself, let's talk about the features of the light and the output. On high, this has a 1050 lumens at 2.7 hours, medium 345 lumens at 7 hours, and low 10 lumens at 10 hours. Then we have a moonlight, which is one lumen at 982 hours. They also have two different strobes. We have the strobe, well, we have a strobe and an SOS. The strobe is at 1050 lumens at five hours and the SOS is 1050 lumens at six hours. Now what I really like about this light is that you can use both at the same time. You can use this front here and we can use the side both at the same time. If you're just wondering, I did want to point out you can actually charge this just like so. You can charge this, you see it's charging there and both lights are still on. Now as for the side light, we have a high white, we have a low white, and then we have a red flood, green flood, and then a blue flood. And all of these, if we go back to red, we could use the SOS by double tapping. I'll go to SOS. But anyway, before we jump into how all those actually work, I do wanna just go over the flashlight in general. Up here on top, we do have this nice bezel here. This is removable. And it's got some nice teeth there, it's stainless steel. We have the nice glass anti-reflective with a deep reflector in there, the LED. Around here we have the, this dispenses the heat, does a very good job, doesn't really get warm at all. Then we have kind of an octagonal thing here. Now if we set this down, it will roll. So keep that in mind. But here we have the secondary light, this is it has a diffuser over it, which is really nice. If you are out camping or anything and you need a reading light or you don't need one so bright and you'd like to set this down, is perfect because you can use that light there and you can see the, the light. But anyway, moving on, 
we have the two side switches here. And these switches work as, you can use these as momentary, or if you hold them down for two seconds, then they'll stay on. Now I'll start with this switch here. Then we'll go through the different settings. It will go to high, and then we'll go to medium, and then low, and then moonlight. High, medium, low, moonlight. And this does have built-in memory. Let me show you what that means. So if I go to high and then I go to medium, hold down for two seconds to turn it off. And now my momentary will be medium. And if I turn it on, it will also be medium. And I can shift through low, moonlight, high. So if I double press on any setting, I can get a strobe. And then if I press one more time, I'll get the SOS. And I press one more time, it will go back to the, I think this is on medium setting, let me see, here we go. We'll go back to high, so I double press. There's the strobe, press once, SOS, press once, back to high, hold down for two, light off. Now on the secondary switch here, this is for the side light, like I said, and it's the same, hold it down for two seconds, and then I can go through the different lights and I can double press for strobe and then I'll press again and it will go back to the brightest light so the secondary switch does not have memory built in so let me show you exactly what I mean here here I'm on red and if I were to go ahead and turn this off now when I go back it goes back to oops high so it's off on red white see so I'll go ahead I want to go back into red this is the SOS all I do is double tap and there you go you can use this for warning you can use it just for anything filters I mean red you can see kind of look, puts off pretty cool lighting there but once I take it off always goes back to the clear white so let me go through you can strobe these two same thing just double press the blue does not strobe the blue is the only one that doesn't strobe so i just go ahead and point that out now working our way down further on here we have two cutouts here they feel like they're maybe some clip or holster clips but uh those aren't included but it looks like they might be able to slide on there but then we have the claris cutouts here this feels really good these are these are checkered and then we have some divots here but good grip on the tail cap here this is not removable but that's where you will find the actual charging port and this is magnetic charging and once again it just works so good so convenient and super strong magnet so there you have it there's the claris rs20 i would definitely recommend this light it's a good universal light for either household or especially for that lanyard type how you can set it down you can actually set it on either side but you can set it down on that bigger bezel there and then use the side as a lantern that works really good the beam on this thing is awesome the beam is very I mean it, it's very good it's got a well-defined hot spot it's got a nice throw and it just looks really good I mean the reflector and the LED working together on this looks really really good so that's that I got mine from skybend.trade I'll go ahead and put a link in the description and thanks for watching